And I'm sure you're going to sit through all of the seminars. Yeah, I normally sit, sit through most of them. Yeah, good. So um, first things first, though, guys. Did everyone download the app? The, the app. Everybody got that? Okay. Yes. yes. Anybody not got that? You definitely need that. They wised up. You know, this, this year they just have a, a Team Beachbody events app. Like every year in the past, they would come out with a different app. You know, there would be like the 2017 Summit app and then the 2017 Success Club trip and the 2017 Leadership app. You know, now we just have one, so it's great. You, you just download it once and you're good, you know. But um, the thing that you guys want to do is you want to familiarize yourself with the agenda. I'm sure you guys have already done this, right? You probably looked at this more than I have um, <laughs> because, yeah, I mean, this is old hat for me. But um, the maps is also great, um, especially like downtown Indianapolis and the convention center. Uh, maps are great. Um, where are you guys staying? Is everybody like located like right down by the convention center? No. Yes. Who, who's no? Oh, Jennifer, where are you located? I'm like a mile away at an Airbnb. Okay. Yeah. If you uh, if you waited, uh, you pro all the hotels are probably full, right? Well, I actually got it maybe three months ago because it was really cheap and I love to walk but then as it got closer I started feeling left out and I was like I want to be in somebody's room <laughs> wait to get my deposit back on the place that I got so oh okay I I'm at uh the Hyatt Regency is anybody else there no okay we, we are at the Hilton I know Amy and Elizabeth and I are at the Hilton Okay, I'm looking on the map. Okay, I see, oh, the Hilton is just is just uh, uh, two blocks from the Hyatt. So. Yeah, so everything's close walk. Okay. Angela, so, uh, Angela and I are at the uh, Marriott. Okay, uh, the Marriott is, yeah, it, it connects to the convention center too. I like that, that they have the walkways, you know, connecting the hotels to the convention center. That's awesome. And then the stadium is just right down the block. So um, is, is anybody going to the Success Club trip? I mean, not the Success Club party. Did anybody earn that? No? Okay. So um, there, are, uh, as there are parties one night. What night is that? I think it's Friday night. Um, we also have a team dinner. Did everybody sign up for the team dinner? Okay, anybody not signed up for that? Um, Jennifer, I know you signed up late, right? Yeah, uh, you're but, talking about the one on Friday? Yeah, yeah. Friday. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, we'll probably do dinners every night, but I just didn't want to, you know, trying to get reservation for 40 or 50 people is crazy, right? You know, we'll just do smaller dinners probably the other night. So, you know, you guys um, definitely you know, make friends, don't be afraid to talk to people. <laughs> um, you know, it, it's like every year it amazes me. Like one year, um, there was a guy who, from our team who came and he spent the whole time in the hotel. He never, he never left the hotel. Oh so, my God. So yeah, that's how, that's how not to make friends and <laughs> people, right? So no, you, you definitely want to, hang out with us and we're, and we're going to start, um, well, Wednesday night is our uplines party. If you're going to that, I know some, some of the, some of the teams have their own team dinners. So I'll be going to one of, the, one of the team dinners on Wednesday night. But if you, if you don't have plans, go to Melanie Boland's, um, party. She's our upline founding coach. And she, she typically throws a free party this year. I think she's only charging 20 bucks um, a person to cover food and drinks and entertainment and prizes and all that other good stuff. So is anybody getting in on Wednesday or before? We are. We're, we're getting in, but we're going to do a small group dinner instead of Melanie's dinner. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's cool. Um, we are actually leaving tomorrow, 
So we get in tomorrow afternoon. And I always like to get there a day in advance because that way I can, you know, uh, do the tourist thing and, you know, we'll, we'll do some sightseeing on Wednesday. So if anybody's in or, you know, if, is anybody getting in on Tuesday? Anybody else? No? Okay. So if you wanted to, we could, you know, uh, go somewhere or whatever. You can, you can hang out with us, but um, that's okay. So Wednesday night is the party. So if any, is anybody planning on going to that? No? I'm going. Jennifer? Okay. Um, what's that? Connie? I'm going as well. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. And are you, you're rooming with Stephanie, right? Yes. She's okay. going as well. Okay. And uh, Car Carrie won't be in yet. <laughs> okay. Did you go last year too? Yeah, I think I went with Christina last year, with Christine uh, Bove. Okay, Christina Bove. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a great place to meet other people from our team, and there'll be definitely, I'm sure, a lot of people from our team going. So, you know, if you're in, definitely go to that. Uh, Thursday, I know that there are, what, some workouts in the morning? And uh, there's some, some special summit events, right? I saw a Spanish one and a UK one. And is anybody going to those? No? I know there is a, um, a financial uh, training. Is anybody signed up for that? What is that? Oh. I don't know if you have to sign up. It's called Natalie Taylor. And if you read the description, She's a, a financial author, planner, something or another. Um, and she's doing a session at 2 and a session at 3.30. So if you do want to go to that, um, plan on going at 3.30 because I was going to do a team picture. I'd like us all to do a team picture at 2. And I posted that. And if you did get a shirt, one of the ones that, uh, that John's wearing, that Amanda <laughs> designed, uh, wear it. And then we could all you know, get our picture taken. Um, and typically there's a big sign, like I posted a big Beachbody sign, or they do some big, uh, you know, collage or something outside of core, some, some, some piece of art or whatever, right? That's a Beachbody thing. They typically do that outside of core. Um, so we'll, we'll scope it out on Wednesday. Um, we'll definitely let everybody know. We'll post. Also, something that um, typically we do is um, we'll have like a chat. So anybody who wants to be in a chat group, um, you know, or maybe you just want to do your own smaller team chat groups, it's, it's totally up to you, but I'll probably have a big chat with anybody who wants to be in it. That way, you know, I can say, hey, we're sitting in section D of whatever, 142, you know, um, if anybody wants to join us. Um, so... You know, there's typically, like in the past several years, right, John, it's like they've split us because our, the places that we've had have not been big enough to hold us. But this year, I guess the arena is big enough. So it's like everybody is going to the arena in the morning and then everybody does the training in the afternoon. So, um, so that's good because we don't get split, you know, half of us going in the morning and half at night. The other thing that I noticed is... Um, Every single year that I've been at Summit, they do recognition at night because they've been splitting us during the day. So the only time that we're together is at night. So they save all the recognition till, till the nighttime, which makes for a lot of recognition because they, you know, they bring all the, every single diamond, one star, two star up on stage and they do, you know, elites and premieres and all this stuff, right? It takes forever. So this year, they're going to spread it out. I know they're going to do a lot of it like during the day, you know, during the day sessions. So um, um, I will be recognized uh, for being in the Millionaire Club. Ooh, really? Woo! Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, that. thank you. That's big. Was, was that just recent or was that in seven, 2017? That is this year. I just hit it this year. Oh, congratulations. Big time. 
Yes. Awesome. Wow, I knew that, John. You didn't know something I knew. <laughs> <laughs> you don't tell me anything, Amy. Yeah. Well, I just assumed you knew. <laughs> well, I, I unofficially announced it to, to, to the team probably last year, but that combined my income and, la and Amanda's income. But yeah. I, I finally hit it officially this year. So I get to go up on stage on Wednesday, no, Friday morning uh, with the Millionaire Club folks. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I've always, that's always been a, you know, a dream, a goal of mine. So finally check that one off. Um, so, so anyway, um, what questions do you guys have? I'm sure you first timers, you probably want to know what to pack, what to wear. Yeah. Um, honestly, it's, it's mostly casual, you know, um, girls most girls they'll wear like workout clothes because you, you i think there's like a workout in the morning most mornings right and and then they just wear workout clothes all day right especially for you jennifer who has to would have to go back you know yeah jail. that's you're probably not going to want to run back and then run all the way back you know so what's up with that super workout thing i noticed it said don't bring a bag or anything with you do you just show up in your workout clothes and then you have to go back and get your stuff somewhere well, you know the reason they don't want you to bring a bag is because it gets really really tight you're in this huge this huge area and there's no room for towels and bottles and bags so you can bring a bag but they'll probably tell you to go put all the bags over on the curb away from you just to get them out of the way. Uh -huh. If you're coming from you know far away and you can't go back and forth, you can bring a bag, but you probably have to just put it way off to the side. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The great thing about being close is after the workouts, you can run, get showered, get cleaned up, and then make it back. But but you know, if you can't do that, then just bring a bag or whatever you need to to freshen up. And most people just wear their workout clothes or casual clothes, you know, to all the sessions. Some some uh, get more dressed up at night. You'll you'll see girls in you know dresses and things like that. Especially people who are going to be on stage. I would say don't worry about it. You know, dress comfortably because I don't know what it's going to be like inside, but it'll be hot outside and there'll be a lot of walking. So wear comfortable shoes, you know, tennis shoes is recommended, you know, for most. Yeah. Bring long sleeves for inside because every room is going to be over air conditioned when you get there. So every, every room in the convention center and the stadium is going to be freezing because they are planning for, you know, thousands of people to heat the room up. So bring long sleeves. Yeah. When you get, Five to ten thousand people or more in a room, it, it heats up. <laughs> but it always starts off cold. Yeah, that, that's just a normal habit with me anymore. Yeah, even the restaurants are that way. Yeah. Hey, Greg, I saw that you posted the weather, but I didn't see what your weather forecast looked like. And I can tell you today that every day has a pretty decent chance for a pop-up thunderstorm so kind of pretend like you're in florida <laughs> where it's beaming hot and humid and then all of a sudden you have a roller come in okay and it leaves so and be forewarned you live, forewarned. In, you live <laughs> there kelly right yeah i do okay so what do you recommend uh seeing there like you know i'm going to be there tomorrow so what do you recommend seeing in Indy. I think you really, if you have time, you really have to go on the tour of the Speedway where they have the Indy 500. I'm not a big race fan, but I had a relative come in town who was, so I went ahead and took him, and even I was impressed. I thought it was really nice. Okay. Um, so I don't want to spoil it for you what you get to do, but I really recommend it. It's time well spent. Don't they have a museum there or something? They do. They okay. do. But they also have an option where you can get on a bus and go around the track and get out and walk up to where the Winner's Cup is. They also take you up to the media center. I mean, you just have to experience it yourself. It just doesn't do it justice. But it's, okay. it's time well spent. Okay. Um, if you're into zoo animals, we've got a really, really nice zoo. We also have a really, and that's downtown. 
the zoo, the zoo itself. It's connected to um, several waterways and, and green space. We also have the NCAA Museum downtown. There is American Indian Museum downtown. Downtown is very walkable. We, we had um, the Super Bowl here one year just for that reason. Hmm. And you, it's not as walkable as, say, Boston but it's pretty darn walkable to hit the major sites. Um, if you get in your car and you drive a little further north and west, there's also a very nice Indiana um, Museum of Art, and there is a thousand acre um, green space where you can walk or bicycle. I know some people travel with their bicycles, you know, that fold up. And um, there's just tons and tons of green space if you want to get out and out about. So I don't know what your interests are, but those, those are just a few things. And then eating, you just really can't go wrong. But I will warn you that if you plan on... And we can see you. Are you invisible? <laughs> I'm, I'm cooking. I'm actually cooking cabbage steaks. So I'm keeping an eye on that. I'm sorry. I'm well, here. All right. Um, if, um, where's I going? Oh, breakfast, really important. So if you try any of the suggestions that I posted on the page, you need to allow extra time because if there's anything people locally are crazy about, it's the breakfast thing. Oh, I love so, breakfast. I do too. I think it's the best meal of the day. <laughs> is, yeah, I think so. But breakfast for dinner works great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So if you if you leave your hotel and tr you know try to have that experience, just kind of leave earlier than you think you might, um, so that you are able to sit and enjoy it and get in and you know be able to get out and get back to the convention center um, in time for what you need to do. Yeah, yeah. You might want to post those things again because I know they okay. were in a thread and they probably got lost. So no, that's fine. I'm happy to do that. Yeah, I know in in New Orleans there was oh in Nashville too there was oh, such good food uh, that was the best best you know place to go for food right both of those places so I went to law school in New Orleans I ate for three years yes <laughs> fantastic it's like I think in Nashville I had like the kings like. Oh, uh, what did they call it? French toast, and it was like peanut butter, banana, you no. know. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> so, well, speaking in that way, what what would uh, somebody from Indiana say that their like delicacy of food is? Well, what are you looking for? Let me ask you that because. There's a, there's, there's a significant food scene here. Um, in fact, there's one day, I think it's gonna be on Saturday, it could be Friday, I'll have to go back and look, and I had posted this earlier. Um, there's a food, truck, there's a food well, truck scene that's gonna be really close to the convention center, but, but what are you looking for in particular? Well, I, I would just like, you know, you go to Louisiana, you go for the seafood. You go to, you know, oh. Maine, you go, you know, well, what would you say is the it's going to be steak. <laughs> it's it's going to be steak. Yeah. And so you've got St. Elmo's. Okay. Um, you have Ruth's Chris, which, you know, is a chain. Um, St. Elmo's is the oldest steakhouse in Indiana. So that would that would be a, a place you probably would want to experience. Yeah, I'm going there Wednesday night. Yeah. 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 Um, what else? Capitol Grill has really, really good steak. Morton's Steakhouse. Those steak. are all chains. We want something that's authentic. I know. Well, that, that's why St. Saint, um, Saint Elmo's is, is the best to go to. I don't think Shula's is a chain, but I could be wrong on that. Okay. I'll, I'll post something about Shula's. That is really, really good eating over there. I would stay away from Ocean Air. I know that's a chain, but I would stay away from it. I, I think their food is awful <laughs> okay. um, yeah, I, I get stuck with truck stops so anything that that somebody throws at me is different <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, what else do you guys have questions about? Hey, so let me give you a couple tips from three or four years of Summit. Okay. One of the best tips that, uh, that I heard at Summit was, you know, when you show up with your notebook, the first thing you should do is leave about four or five pages blank and then start writing your notes when you go through all the sessions on like your sixth page because you're going to write down like four times more than you really need to take away. So fill your pages, you know, write feverishly for two days. And then at the end of summit, go back to the blank pages in the front and bring all the important takeaways to the front. All of the little things you asked to risk and said, Oh, I got to do this, got to do that. So that the first couple pages are all the things that you want to do when you come home. Otherwise all that stuff gets lost, you know, because I took, I took 20 pages of notes, you know, the last couple summits. Every single seminar, I'll take like three, four pages of notes. But if, and at the end of the day, go pull out all the important stuff and put it on the first couple pages. You can go home and then you've got a couple pages to focus on rather than, you know, 20 pages of scribble. So yeah, that's a tip that I heard a couple summits ago that I... That's good. And... Um... Now, there's one thing I got to, uh, you know, warn you guys about is I've seen on our team personally, this happen several times is people are fired up. They go to summit, they get overwhelmed, discouraged, and they quit as soon as they get back. Okay. Which shocks me, you know, that's a, that's a real, that's a real risk that people will go there and get so overwhelmed that they'll think, what, I think I just can't do this. And you just can't let that happen because it's, it's a mistake. Right. Yeah. Now, most people, the opposite happen. You know, they maybe they're kind of cool going into it. They go there, they, they're surrounded by 30,000 coaches and speakers and training and you get all fired up and it, it it, cha it could change your life, right? It could change your business. But the opposite happens to some people. And I just want to warn you about that because you're going to see million dollar coaches walking across the stage. You're going to see people that, you know, went 15 star diamond. And two years. You know, you're going to see, you're going to get tons of information. And like John said, is it, it could be overwhelming, right? And you just can't let that happen. You got you to gotta take what you can out of it and and don't worry about the rest you know don't let yourself get overwhelmed so if if somebody's like you know if you're like drinking from a fire hose and you can't get it all don't worry about it just just take one thing away from the training that you learn you know or if you see these amazing coaches on stage and you know if you if you know a lot of times people are like you know that's going to be me someday but if, if, you, if you think, oh, that could never be me, that's okay, you know, um, because you, you don't have to be that, right? Uh, you know, it, you, you can, if you're inspired by somebody, then start following them, right? You, you're going you're gonna to see so many coaches. You're going to hear from them. They're going to see so many speakers. The ones that you connect with, you can, you can connect with on social media and you can continue to follow. And the ones that you don't, don't. Don't worry about it, you know? So, you know, the best thing I like about Summit is just getting to hang out with all you guys, you know? That's why I go, you know? It's like all the speakers, all the stuff I've heard before, all the <laughs> trainers I've worked out with before, I've gone to Core. Oh, Core is amazing, you know? But I don't go for that reason. Um, you know, speaking of Core, if you, do, do you guys know what Core is? It is... It's the store. Yep, it's, it's the big store. The store, yes. <laughs> and they always bring stuff that you can't buy online. So they'll have, last year they had the whole shoe line that they released, right? Um, so you want to bring lots of money. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I think they only take credit card, right, John? Yeah, it's all, all credit card, yeah. Okay. Just, just leave extra room in your luggage if you're a shopper and you want a lot of stuff. I will give one other uh, bit of advice for the women. Um, you will see uh, ladies trying on shirts there in the core, and they're just stripping off shirts. So wear a sports bra, something that you are comfortable, you know, you know, being seen in. Because 
everyone will be doing that. Okay? Yeah, you're not going to run to the dressing room to exactly. change a shirt on. You're just exactly. going to rip off what you have and just try something on. Yeah, right the there. dressing room dressing room lines are too long. Yeah, know? it's like the. Have you ever seen those Thanksgiving commercial like in, you know those those newscasts from a few years ago when people would like mad rush into Walmart and stomp on each other. <laughs> that, that's kind of like what it's like because you know there's only you know, 5,000 extra small shirts and they've got to have them, you know? Uh, no. if, if you wait, you can get into the core without waiting online, you yeah. know, waiting, yeah. waiting to like second, third. Yeah. Is there a good time to stop, shop at the core that's kind of lower yes. graphic? During any of the session. <laughs> during, yeah, during the session. Skip the session. Yeah. Uh, Walk out of the session, go into core, and it will be deserted. How about on Thursday? Is it like as people are starting to arrive earlier in the day? Is that kind It'll of quieter? Yeah, I saw that the core actually opens on Wednesday, so that's good. They used to wait till like Thursday, right, John? And then only the, they'd only let the special people in first, like privileged people, like million dollar club earners like you, Greg. <laughs> elites. They let the elites in first. Yeah, that's right. The elites yeah. would come in or success yeah. club people. But uh, I think they're opening it up earlier because it's, you know, it's such a zoo. Yeah, it used to be like Thursday morning, and literally people would line up at like four in the morning, and they would open at like eight, you know? And you don't have to do that anymore. No, now it opens like Wednesday and like most people don't even get there till Thursday. So it's not a mat, you know, it's not big, long, it's typically not huge lines. The first day, like Thursday, I would expect, you know, bigger lines, but. It's a, uh, last year, if I remember right, the bigger line was for the bag check because you can't walk in there with a bag. So you have to stand on one line to check a bag and then you get in a different line to go into the store. So yes. if you leave your bag outside with somebody or don't bring one, then it's. Yeah. A lot of times they will do big announcements at Summit. So they may, I don't know if they're going to, but, you know, typically they've announced like the performance line. And then after they announce it, you can buy it in core, right? So um, everyone wants to do that. You know, it's like uh, daily sunshine and then it's available in core the next day. So every single year they typically do that. So, you know, definitely you know, like John said, make room in your, your suitcase so that you can be the first to try it and bring it home or whatever. They've already done the bar. So, you know, I don't, I don't know what they might release, but it's always exciting to, to hear the, you know, the new releases, the new programs that are coming out. They always do the, the big announcements are typically on like opening night. I think that's when they do them, right? Or is it general session? It's usually opening night is when they announce like next year's summit and maybe a new program. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and be prepared to get your summit ticket for next year during this summit. Because like John said, they will announce where it's going to be. And if it's not Indianapolis, they'll announce, okay, it's going to be in Orlando, let's say. And tickets will go on sale and typically they're going to be like huge discounts. So let's say like a hundred dollars. I, I one year it was like $99, you know, for the summit ticket. So you definitely want to get, you know, your summit ticket at summit for next year. And um, I don't remember, was there stipulations? Like if you get the summit ticket, you can't, you can't refund it or something like that. I think they changed that this year and they made everything somewhat refundable. I, I think, or they, they gave you an option to buy a refundable version. Okay or transferable or something like that. Yeah, I mean, I always go, so it's not an issue for me, but if it is an issue for you, you can buy the refundable one and you, you still are going to pay a lot less than you will. Cause like right after summit, like the Monday after summit, the ticket price will go up to like 150 or whatever. If it's at 100, it'll go up to 150 and then, and then it'll keep going up. It'll go up to 200 and then, you know, whatever. So, um, so, it, you know, it is scheduled to rain, like thunderstorms, like Kelly said, like every single day. So, you know, bring a little umbrella or a poncho or something like that. At least I, the dome is covered, right? Yeah. Okay. So, 
I remember in Nashville, it's like we sat out, it was an open seat, uh, stadium. So, you know, it's like it rained and we were sitting in the stadium in the rain. And then if it wasn't raining, it was like 105 degrees with no air. So mm -hmm. you're, you're basically soaking wet either way, you know. So, I, you know, New Orleans was awesome because it had the Superdome, which was air-conditioned, and I think Indy, I think they, they learned their lesson from Nashville, so hopefully they'll never do that again because it was horrible. Um, that was the only bad part, you know, just just that stadium part. But, um, but yeah, it is an awesome experience. Um, what else, John? Uh, you were there. What, what, what was your... What are, what are your tips from, from one year, from last year? Mine was just don't be afraid to get out and mingle. Just because they're up lines from you, you can learn so much just on a one-to-one -one conversation. You're absolutely and right. It's so nice to talk to different people. That, that, and that is something that's scary for me is just to go into a group and, and all of a sudden go, uh, okay. But it was very calming because a lot of people did recognize me from the groups and like John and a few others, they do come over and say, Hey, and so it, it does make it a lot more comfortable. But you're right. You're going to mingle with some of the top coaches that you see on the national wake up call. And you're going to see them on stage during the web, the seminars. And they're really just regular people, like Greg, and they more than welcome the one-on-one -on -one conversation. So if you walk up and say, hey, I have to ask you about this, or I heard this, that, you know, they're all real people. They all love talking to you one-on-one. -on -one. So you're going to see a lot of, you know, coaches that you might think are celebrity coaches, but don't, don't be afraid to say hi with them. Don't be afraid to take a picture with them because they love it. Yeah, and, um, and, and you'll meet a lot of – you know, regular coaches, like while you're standing in lines, beside people in the workouts, sitting beside people in the sessions, talk to them because, you know, they're, they're feeling exactly like you, you know, mm -hmm. and they love to meet people. Everyone loves to meet people from other teams, you know, to cross pollinate. And a lot of times you can find, I, I hear stories all the time about people who found their success partner you know, just as summit from, from meeting somebody in line or whatever, you know, so. I stayed in touch with two different people that I met at summit that were not on engage. So yeah, you'll meet people on other teams that get no support from uplines. You'll meet people who are on other teams that have a lot of support. It, it, you're going to meet a lot of other people and it's, it's worth, you know, seeing what everyone else is doing. Yeah. Last year, the, it was the first time this has ever happened to me. A, a girl ran up to me going, Greg! And uh, I was like her biggest fan, you know, or she was my biggest fan or something, you know, is what she told me. And it was like, really? Who are you? You were her hero. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea, you know, who she was. But anyway, um, I guess I did a team call and, and she followed me or whatever, but. But yeah, it's amazing, you know, I, I, I love, you know, when people come up and talk to me. So, you know, def definitely yeah, do it, do it, you know. And you might even see the super trainers walking up and down the halls. Yeah. yeah. They don't like it too much. And don't, don't make my <laughs> mistake from last year and bring some nice shoes to wear with a dress and end up with blisters on your feet. Uber was a lifesaver for me. Mm -hmm. because I did have the wrong shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Normally we're more spread out. So, so yeah, New Orleans, there's the dome and the, the, and the, the convention center were like 20 blocks apart. So <laughs> it was literally what, like a, a 45 minute walk to get from one to the other. It was crazy. So a couple more practical things. Uh, one thing we've done the last couple summits is uh, locate a local grocery store or pharmacy. And I see there's a CVS on the corner right across from our Hilton. And you can go in there and buy basic groceries. You can buy a styrofoam cooler and ice if you don't have a refrigerator in a hotel room. And what we like to do is we just get lunch stuff. And we'll come back to the room and make lunch 
you know, you have a two hour break between 12 and two. And since everything is so close, it's really for us to come back and forth to the room. So we plan to do that for lunches. There's actually um, a grocery store downtown um, that has a really great selection of food. But if walking to CVS makes more sense for you, then by all means do that. But I just want you to be aware that but there yeah, is a grocery store. Yeah, there's a grocery store with you know, fruit, produce, veggies, the, yep. the veggies. That's yep. perfect. You don't have to fly with it. Just buy what yeah. you can yep. eat when you're there. Yeah. yeah. And, and be prepared for them to be busy because once the word is out, uh, coaches will be emptying that grocery store out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell anyone. <laughs> we saw that in Nashville. Yeah. We went to a local grocery shop on the corner. It was just full of coaches. It was crazy. Yeah. yeah. yeah I think they serve, well, I know they serve um, Shakeology all the time, right? There's a Shakeology bar. There's probably a, uh, whatever, um, a daily sunshine bar as well. And they may even have the bars now on sale. So like you, whenever you're at the convention center, you'll be able to buy that. Mm -hmm. Um, they sell, what was it? Like how much is it a shake? Do you remember? It's, it's five fifty this year. I think they reduced the price. It used to be more. Oh, okay. It's not the price of a packet. Same price as one packet. Okay. Three. So you can buy tickets, which is nice. Cause you could buy like, four tickets, you know, and then you can use them whenever you want. You know, you don't have to stand in line and pay every time. You could just go give them a ticket and take one, you know. So that's typically what I'll do is I'll just buy, a, you know, four or five or, you know, while I'm, you know, for a while I'm there. Um, I buy the sandwiches because it's easy and convenient and then we just eat as a group, um, you know, and hang out and talk and stuff. What's that, Connie? I bought, I, I did the box lunches as well. Yeah, they're overpriced and, and not that good, but, you know. Um, Greg, you were just talking about um, groceries, and I went back to Melissa Hutchinson's page, and she talked about doing Instacart, um, where if it's $35 order, you get free delivery. Um, so that's something, too, if your room wants to order groceries collectively, that you can do an Instacart in that area to do. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's convenient. All right. Brent, you got any questions? Greg, I just had a question about our um, team dinner. That's on Friday night. What time is that? Uh, I'd have to look. I think it's 6.30. Is it? Okay. I tried to space it like I think our sessions end at five and then our other thing starts at eight or something. So I tried to get enough time, you know. But six thirty sounds sounds right to me. You have did you get like a, a small banquet room? Because we have a big group, right? Uh, I didn't get a private room, but it's a big restaurant. How many people are on your list? I've got 40. Yeah, that's big. Okay. And yeah, I, I think, you know, we're not filling the restaurant. It's, it's a big place. Yeah. Okay. And it's across from the Marriott, I believe. So it's, it's pretty close. So we can all, all walk. Yeah. I called a couple other places and, and either they weren't big enough or they wanted us to do a private room and a private menu, which really jack up the price. So they recommended the ram i think it's a chain but it'll, it'll be fine that's all right okay now that's friday night at 6 30 right right okay because i didn't add that to my agenda yeah add that um so and then you know we'll be we'll be talking and chatting and you know typically you know, a group of us, we'll sit together at the, the, you know, the training sessions. And typically we sit together at the, the, whatever, the nighttime sessions, the general sessions. So if you want to, of course, you're not required. If you want to just, you know, do your own thing or sit with your own team, you can do that. But, you know, we will always, like, like I said, we'll have a chat group going and we'll say, hey, we're in, you know, 147 section D or row D if anybody wants to join us, you know. 
All right, anything else? Hey, is Corey going this year? No, he's not. No? Yeah, it's not too bad. yeah unfortunately. I know Mark is. Uh, yeah. Mark Hildebrandt um, has, you know, they kind of run their own team. So they're, they're still yeah, part of our team, team, but they have 30 some people that are, that are going. And, and Lisa and her team are going? Yeah, Lisa and uh, Sarah Camden and Christine. Um, so they're, yeah, I mean, they, they kind of do their own thing too. I asked them to join us, everybody to join us for the picture. So hopefully we can get everyone there. If I think if we have everyone there, we'll have like a hundred or so. Good. But, but if not, you know, we'll just get a picture with, you know. Yep. Whoever's there? Yeah, whoever's there, the important people. <laughs> I know I'm going to try to make it, but I'm doing Melissa, Melissa Hudgens training that morning, and I don't know how long that's going to go. Okay. But that's at 1030. I know, was it Melanie was doing one also on Thursday? Is it Melanie that was doing one? Uh, a lot of teams do do theirs. Yeah, I know that. Um, but yeah, maybe if you could just step out at two, you know, I'm sure. Well, it's at 1030, so I don't know how late they're going to go. I sent her a message, but I haven't heard back from her yet, so. Okay, yeah. All right, guys. Okay. I, I, have, I have a real quick question. On, on Thursday, it's not so structured the day. Is that right? I mean, I'm looking at the right. schedule. Yeah, Thursday is open because that's kind of the assumed arrival day for most people. Yeah, the first thing you're going to do when you get there is register. So the, the registration is on the second floor of the convention center. And um, typically they, they section it off by your rank, you know. So like coach rank will go here, A through Z or whatever. You know, they'll have it. And that's where they'll give you your wristbands and uh, your, your tickets, you know, to the parties or to the lunch you know your, your box lunches and all that stuff they'll give you all that when you check in so the first thing that you want to do like as soon as you get checked into your hotel or whatever is go register on Thursday or whenever you get in I think registration opens on Wednesday so if you get there sooner okay. good you can register. Yeah, register on Wednesday. yeah which right th really Thursday Thursday, Thursday, Thursday is scheduled day. Yeah, Thursday is a day then we could do sightseeing. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they do have that financial thing, and they do have those other sessions. Like, if you wanted to attend one of those, you can. Okay. They have a French one, a Spanish one, a UK one. Take your pick. <laughs> I don't speak any of those languages. Yeah. UK? <laughs> I speak that. Okay, good. I just was looking at this thing. And then they have the workouts. Like, I, there's some workouts um, Thursday, it looks like. But those are the ones that you have to have signed up for. Yeah. Yeah, so you, yeah right. You either have a Thursday or a Friday. Yeah. They let you know it's Friday. Thursday or Friday, one or the other. Yeah. 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 So Thursday is kind of an open day until the evening. Okay. The yeah. Saturday workout. That one's for everyone. That one's, you know, that one's a killer. Um, I do not do that one. So, yeah, John, you can talk about, or Susan, she probably does it. I know John stands and takes pictures, and Susan works. Yeah, I've, done it. I've done it the last couple of years. Uh, Susan yeah. does every workout that she can get herself into. Yes. She'll, she'll buy wristbands from people if she could. <laughs> you can do that? No. <laughs> She stands on the corner asking for wristbands. <laughs> right. <laughs> so you have to pace yourself on the super workout. Yeah. Is what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, not really. I mean, it, well, it's an hour. It's going to go an hour and a half because each yeah. Yeah. trainer gets like 15 minutes. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's an hour and a half. And if it's hot, you know, you got to pace yourself and drink water. Yeah. So in other words, smuggle in your water bottle, but skip the bag. Uh, definitely bring the water. I mean, you need yeah. a water bottle. They may even have water stations set up out there. I'm not sure how they're going to turn it up. Two hands, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's my problem because it's always some place that's really, really hot, like New Orleans, Nashville, Las Vegas, you know. And even though they work out at like six in the morning and people will get there hours early to try to get up close, um, it gets hot fast. 
right? Especially when you're, you get 30,000 people crammed into this space. It's crazy. But it's definitely a must experience. You know, your right. first time, you definitely want to experience it. You definitely want to go. You know, after that, you can decide. You can, you know, if you want. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Good. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. Well, that's it. I will see you guys in a couple of days. Okay. All right. We'll see y'all in a few days. That's right. Looking forward to meeting everyone in person. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.